squares. Lots of things are squares. Pizza boxes, a chessboard, Willini's head. But none gets as much love as everyone's favorite friend, SpongeBob SquarePants. And that's why the next logical thing to do is to make him in Blender. Why you may ask? Cause it's the next logical thing to do. So without further ado, are you ready kids? Okay, beginning with modeling, we're going to start off the right way, delete the default cube and add a new one. In edit mode, scale it to match the reference and also go to the side and scale it down on the Y. Then add a subdivision surface modifier and add edge loops to make it a cube again. Add a few more edge loops and move them up and down so we can get that wavy spongebob look. Add another cube to make the shirt and the shorts and also add a cylinder for the legs. Since a lot of the parts are symmetrical, I use the mirror modifier to make the other side with the mirror object set to the head. For the shoe, add a UV sphere and add a subdivision to it. With proportional editing turned on and in edit mode, move the vertices to make the shoe. For the sleeve, add a cylinder, add a subdivision to it, select the top vertices and scale it down and then extrude on the Z. The hand was made from a cube. I added loop cuts to extrude the fingers, added the subdivision surface modifier and then moved some vertices around to get to the general shape. Again, use a mirror modifier to make the other side. For the nose, add a UV sphere with the subdivision, delete half of it and extrude. Add loop cuts and with proportional editing turned on, select the vertex in the middle and move it on the Z to bend it. The eyes are also made from a UV sphere cut in half. For the mouth, delete these faces and in vertex select, move the individual vertices so it lines up with the mouth on the reference and finally add the tongue and the teeth. Moving on to the materials, select the head mesh and add the new material in the shader editor. Shift A to add the shader to RGB node and put that between the principal BSDF and the material output node. Then add a color ramp and put that between the shader to RGB and the material output node. Set the color ramp to constant and change the color to yellow. And that is pretty much how every other individual material was made. And now finally, the outlines and grease pencil elements. Starting off with the head, select these edge loops, click Ctrl E and mark freestyle edge. Shift A to add the crease pencil object line art. This creates an outline for the head. Change the outline color in the material properties. But wait, there's a problem. I said, hold up, wait a minute. Something ain't right. The outline color for the head is different from the mouth. I fixed this by duplicating the outline object and applying the line art modifier on the duplicate. In edit mode, select the outline around the mouth only, separate it and delete the rest. Change the color to black and move it forward till it covers the other outline. To make the outline of the other object is pretty much straightforward from there. Shift A, grease pencil and object line art. A good tip is to add all your outline objects into one collection so you can easily hide them cause this can take a toll on the viewport's performance. I used the grease pencil blank, set it to stroke and in draw mode made the eye details, hold shift while drawing to make a smoother line. Important settings are to set the stroke placement to surface and an offset of 0.01 or 0.03 and in the object data properties turn off use lights. You can add multiple materials to draw on different details. To make the other details which are going to be on a much flatter surface, we can make use of the box or circle tool. Finally, before rendering, go to the view layer properties, under passes and data, turn on the Z pass. And here is the final result. You can download the blend file for free with the link in the description. Please like and subscribe and thank you for watching.